Hello everybody, welcome to another weekly market review session. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so again, as usual, this is not financial advice. This is just our own opinions, references, and assertions we may make on our social media and just our own personal views. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the charts, guys. That's right. Okay, everybody. So we are on the charts right now looking at the S&P 500. And let me tell you guys, firstly, number one, for the month of uh, May, okay, uh, how have we been so far? Well, very simply, we have been going sideways, okay? So you can see for the month of May, it has this literally been in this ding-dong situation that we are in right now, okay? Entirely sideways for the month of May. And it's not just May, guys, but ever since, all right, uh, April in itself, um, especially the mid towards the end of April, really just been a sideways that it has been going for itself. Okay, you can see down here, up, down, up, down, up, down, really just going sideways in this current market. So one of the harder markets to trade, mainly because market is going sideways. You know, if market is going up, then it's easy for us to make money. If market is going down, it's easy for us to make money. Reason is because it's directional. But when it is not directional, when we are faced in such a sideways kind of situation, it is a lot harder for us to trade. Okay, a lot harder for us to trade. So for the month of May, it's been going sideways. Now, uh, again, this month is a little different than how it typically is. Okay, why am I saying that? So let me show you guys. Uh, you can see the S&P 500 seasonality chart. Okay, and typically this is measured over the last 20 years. So for the last 20 years, typically the S&P 500, if you can see for the month of May, uh, it normally goes down, right? It normally goes down. So that's why we have a saying that said, right? sell in May and go away, okay? Because normally for the month of May, it tends to be a bit of a more bearish month. But so far, you can see for the month of May, what has happened, guys? It is really entirely sideways that we have been going, okay? So that is how it has been for the month of May. So a little different than how it's been for the past couple of years. And it's normal or it's expected because again, this is not like any other uh, month for ourselves. Okay, it's not like any other year. We are in a year where we have high inflation, where interest rates are also high, where there's a lot of uncertainty. Okay, a lot of people are saying that we are in a recession already and uh, we are in a sector recession where certain sectors are in recession. Certain sectors have yet to rotate and experience this for themselves. So it's a little bit harder to trade the markets okay so not your average year now where can we go from here or what can we expect very simply i think coming to the end of may for right now we can expect some movement to happen so you can see towards the end of may you have a move up i cannot say for certain whether this will happen but i will say that the markets will have to make a clear move probably this week or end of this week on the direction it wants to take, okay? So, why do I say this? Now, if we look at the US 500, this is the S&P inclusive of futures, you can see right now that there is a very nice triangle, okay? So, from the start of May all the way to where we are now, you can see a very nice triangle has formed. The markets, of course, have been going entirely sideways. So, if I draw for you guys, you can see it's entirely just sideways okay and right now we are coming to the end of the triangle the market has to make a move soon enough either it has to go up or either it may go down for itself okay we do not know but it has to make a move eventually and i think this move will come probably this week okay so if you ask me okay some of you guys ask hey you know uh, iwc team TWC team, where do you think the markets will go? Uh, will we be will we be going up? Will we be going down? Are you more bullish? Are you more bearish? My personal opinion is I think we will be more bullish. Okay, we will be more bullish. I'm still leaning towards bullish, at least for the short to midterm. And the reason why is because number one, if I just turn on my MA guys, all right, my moving averages, you can see. 
very, very nicely. Okay. My moving averages are all in a synchronized pattern. Okay. What do I mean by this? You can see very clearly that my 20, my 50 EMA, my 100 EMA, my 200 EMA, all are symmetrical. They're all above one another. And price has remained above my EMAs. Now, the last time you saw something like this was probably around the time where okay, the market was in a proper uptrend for itself. So we go back, okay, when the markets were properly trending up. Okay, let me go and find that. All right, which is over here. You can see my EMAs, okay, how nice they were in this pattern. Okay, 50 on top, 100 and 200, nicely going up. Okay, this is what a proper uptrend looks like. And right now, okay, if we look at where markets are, they are fulfilling the exact same prophecy. Okay, so we have prices that come close to the MA and bounce, close to the MA here and bounce as well. And the price has remained, okay, above our okay, price has remained above our MAs. Okay, so ever since I would say the start of April, price has remained above my MAs, and we are still in this trend. Okay, we have not gone below it. So I still believe in the short to mid term, we are in an uptrend. We just have to see again at the end of this week, will markets make their move and when they do make their move whether it's going to continue upwards or downwards this time okay but i do feel like at the end of this week we will have a move we will have more direction and it will be easier to gauge on what kind of trades we need to do whether we're going to be long or whether we are going to be short on the trades okay so in terms of spy again still have movement to go up uh, if i turn on my ma's here as well you can see we are still in a nice uptrend. Okay, 50, 100, 200, still in a nice uptrend as well. Prices are holding above this. So let us hope that it continues and goes up higher. So my opinion, again, I'm still more bullish on the market. Okay, now this is in terms of the market. So if anything, I'll keep you guys updated as the week goes on. Now, uh, seasonality-wise, you can also see for the month of May, uh, for the last 20 years, okay, it tends to dip a bit. It's supposed to be a little bit more bearish, but overall, we still should have or remains a bit more bullish for the month of May. Okay, so it dips a bit, a little bit more bearish, but shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's see at the end of this week what move actually happens. Now, in terms of high impact events, what do we need to look out for? So just take note, okay, high impact news. Number one, retail sales data. This is important news and high economic and impact event. And apart from that, employment, unemployment claims that's coming out on Thursday too. This can also be another factor that drives the market. And lastly, Mr. Jerome Powell, is speaking at 11 p.m. on Friday. So please take note when you're trading. Again, guys, at the end of this week, probably after or maybe after this event that happens, then the markets might start to have the significant move we are looking for. Okay? So please just be careful. Take note of the high impact events that are happening this week and trade carefully. Okay? But again, guys, despite the markets being sideways, Besides being in such a kangaroo-like situation, we still have traders and investors over here making consistent returns in their portfolio. Okay, Really incredible stuff. How they can navigate these markets and be consistent for their portfolio. The reason why they can do this is because they have a system that is simple and sustainable, guys. When it's simple, it means that you are more likely to execute it every day. And when it's sustainable, it means that it is something you can do for the long run, not just a one-hit wonder or do it today and tomorrow you can't do it anymore. Okay, it's something you're going to be doing for lifelong. 
So let me show you their results and what they have been doing for their portfolios and money. All right. So this is literally their results, everybody. Take a look Um, again. Meta making 12% in one day for himself, Mr. Raj. Okay, one of our newest members who has been Killing it, everybody. Killing it when it comes to his portfolio and returns. You have uh, Lillian over here performing consistently for her portfolio. 24% on this meta trade that was given by myself and the team over here. Uh, Google, okay, by Aloysius making about 10% and meta as well. These were trades that were given by the community and the team and all of them took it and made some good returns for their portfolio. Now, again, Crash Aloysius, again, making some good money for their portfolios. Crash, again, loves to trade Tesla, loves to do swing or day trades on the stock, has made 14% in a matter of two days. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Okay, Mr. Daniel over here on his Google trade, making some good returns for his portfolio. Okay, doesn't stop there, everybody. You know, I have so many of our students who are doing this consistently. You got Chun Guan over here, 22% return in seven minutes. Guys, how incredible is it that you have a SIM system that allows you to make 22% in seven minutes? Now, will this happen every time? Of course not. Okay, the answer is no. But when it does happen, he knows how to take advantage of this opportunities because he has this system in place okay so really fantastic by chun guan desmond as well making some good returns in his portfolio martin chris as well look at their returns that they are making and lastly raj i think this was one of the highlight 160 percent return on his portfolio about 2.3k in a matter of 25 minutes okay that's how powerful this system is. If you know how to do this by yourself and effectively, these are the kind of returns that you are looking at. So everybody, if you want to be part of our free Discord channel, number one, please go ahead and scan the QR code over here or click on the link bit.ly slash IWC Discord. We post weekly market review videos, and some important resources with trading, you can go and check it out to stay updated. Number two, our Instagram page. Please follow this as well. We post highlight or spotlight of the week where we highlight certain stocks or certain charts that have potential movements up or down. And if you are already trading and you know how to read this, this is some important resource you could use for your trading as well. Okay, so if you want to check that out, the QR code is there. Bitly slash IWC Insta is the link. And with that, guys, I come to the end of my weekly review video. Again, trade safe, stay safe, take care in this week of trading, and I will see you next week.